Hi everybody, uh, today I want to do a quick demo on drawing hair. Um, it's something that a lot of people have requested, and I know it's something that gives people trouble. Um, there's a couple of sort of tricks that I've learned over the years. Um, one of the most important things is that when you draw hair, uh, a lot of times what you're really doing is laying down a large area of, of tone and then erasing so drawing with your eraser um, to do a lot of the actual drawing. Um, so most of the time when I do use erasers on on uh, my drawings, I use these kneaded erasers. Um, but for hair, I'm going to actually use um, a couple of basically click erasers. This one, this tough stuff one, is um, just a cheap, I think they're a few dollars, um, and I use these a lot. Um, these are newer products by uh, Tombow, I believe. Um, same sort of idea. This one is actually a rectangle. Um, and this one's a tiny little eraser. I don't know if you can see that well. Um, but the three of these kind of work the same way. Um, you'll lay down pigment and you'll lift it out with the eraser. Uh, you'll find that your eraser gets quite dirty. I don't know if you can see that well. Um, having one of these guys, if you've ever seen one, it's a sandpaper block. You just get sandpaper from the hardware store. Um, but you can basically just clean it up with that. So, so those are the tools we're going to use. Um, for, I'm working on this picture of uh, Dr. Strange himself, Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, I'm going to use a, it's a woodless pencil. Um, it's an 8B. Uh, I like these General's woodless pencils, but, you know, any brand will work. Um, and I pretty much always, you'll see in my other videos, I pretty much always use a pencil extender just feels better for me. Um, and then the other thing we're going to use in the video is uh, one of these guys. This is a tortillion. Um, you'll notice this one's very dirty. I do have one that I use for white when I use white Conte or whatever. Don't mix them up. Um, this one as well as, you know, you want to keep them separate because you don't want them to get any dirty. But this actually will help you because if you take a look here, it already has pigment. So when I lay down pigment, this makes it darker and darker. Right? So we're going to start off. First thing to remember always is to go with the flow, right? So um, we're going to try to keep our strokes very much the same way as the hair. Okay, and I'm just going to just going to do a little bit of this drawing. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Um, I actually did most of this as a time lapse, and I will uh, post it at some point. By the time you're watching this, I may have already posted it. Um, but it, it just gives you a good idea. It's hard for me to talk at the same time, so I'm just going to do a little bit of it. Um, fill that in, and you'll see that I vary the way that I draw, um, or how, the way I vary the way that I hold the pencil. Um, just really depends on how much detail I'm trying to get, how broad I want strokes, whatever. Um, you can switch back and forth at different times, but again, always kind of go in the same way as that hair, right? And uh, I notice in my reference that under here, um, in this area here, it's actually very dark. Um, and this part has caught some highlight. Uh, but at this point, that doesn't matter too, too much. Uh, you can see how using the tortillion has just made everything a lot darker, right? Nice and flat. And there's not actually too much graph graphite shine. People worry about graphite shine. Um, when you apply dark graphite, sometimes you get a lot of shine. Um, there's not a lot on this one because we're using the tortillion to sort of blend it. It, it doesn't get too, too burnished, right? So now I'm going to go back in and essentially erase. So draw with my eraser. And just like you do with a pencil, right? Vary the amount of pressure. That you're using. Okay. Um, and if it does get gummed up, as I said, you can, at this, this point hasn't really, but you can always just do that, right? And all you're doing is sort of almost roughing off that edge of, of uh, pigment that's now stuck to your eraser. Now his hair is quite dark, so there's not not a lot of room for um, for variation, but it's still enough to, to come in. Um, I also am going to use an eraser here because this hair doesn't start as a big clump there. Now you can come back in with a pencil, right? 
Um, I'm going to exaggerate here just so that you can see how this works. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to, he actually doesn't have any highlights in his hair. But if, if he did, I can actually now go back over with a white charcoal. Now, if I try and do it over other areas, you don't see much. But because I've erased here, I can actually come in and do that. Okay. And just keep doing this. I'll just lay down a little bit more pigment on this side here. Uh, a lot of times when I'm doing this, I'll actually flip the flip the paper around, so I'm working upside down. And whichever, it, it's all about comfort, right? Sometimes when I'm doing large areas of of tone, I'll even lay it in my lap um, rather than on my drawing board because I find that it's just more comfortable for me to lay down large areas. But it'd be kind of difficult for you guys to see that if I do that. So we'll just we'll just keep it on the board for now. Right. And then the other thing <clears throat> that you can do once you've got your area, um, you know, a lot of drawing uh, is knowing when to when to do certain things, right? Um, so, for example, we know that he's got lots of he's actually got lots of flyaway hairs, like things that are just not part of the not part of the main grouping of hair, and we can kind of do that sort of stuff. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything in the background. I don't think I will. I think I might put a bit of white down here, but up here, I think I'll, I'll leave it pretty natural, so I don't mind doing a few, but normally I would add this at a later time, right? And again, go with the flow. If you look at someone's hair, you'll see that it's not one solid line. It's You vary your pressure, and you go dark and light and dark. All right, so there's a quick down and dirty uh, hair demo. I will finish the rest of this drawing via time lapse and uh, post it sometime this week, I imagine. Uh, so thanks for watching.